What's up, family? Times Square was a real scene this past Saturday, even more so than usual. And it's all because of an impromptu fashion show featuring women of all sizes. And I do mean all sizes. Okay, what's wrong with that, one might ask? Absolutely nothing. Man, it's cool. Do your thing. But it begs the question, why if the purpose of the march, the fashion show, is to bring attention to body shaming, that you have to go overboard to show so much of your body, show so much of your skin? It's almost like a person who gets shamed for being smart. So he's going to go and do a public spelling bee just to rub it in everybody's face and show, show him how smart he really is. <laughs> I don't think that it's that important to seek validation from everybody else. If you're really comfortable in your skin, you know who you are, you're confident like you say you are, why are you still going out trying to get everybody else's approval? Do you. And if you are who you say you are, you're going to be okay with the fact that some people aren't going to approve of how you look. I mean, what's next? We're going to have an ugly shaming contest. We're going to have people running around here suing beauty pageants because they didn't get the crown because they was discriminated against because of their looks. You're going to have people filing lawsuits because they didn't get that actress job because she didn't have the right look. She wasn't cute enough. Come on, man. Didn't get that, that ad job. Come on. Where are we going with this? I'm all for female empowerment. One, two, one, two. I'm with you. I'm with you. I got a daughter, and I want her to get everything that's coming to her. So I'm with you. But some of this stuff, man, y'all got to admit, it's absurd. I think that it's really people just trying to seek attention. Because we are living in a self-absorbent type society. And people will turn anything into a big deal. I mean, you take any little small, insignificant thing and they'll blow it up and make it seem like it's the end of the world. I agree with the whole be proud of your body thing. I like that. Be proud of your body. But when we throw out this false narrative that no matter what size you are, it's okay. That ain't cool. If you have a five foot woman and she's 300 pounds, or even a man, five feet, 300 pounds, he is obese, she is obese, and she need, and he needs medical attention. He needs to get down immediately get that weight off immediately or lose his or her life. If you have a person that's anorexic, that's bad business. That's not healthy living. And we need to stop pushing that. We need to stop promoting that. We need to stop acting like everything a person does as long as they want to do it and they're not hurting anybody else. It's okay. We got to stop that, man. We got to get to a point to where we get back to having some type of moral standards. The bar is so low, low right now with, with standards right now in America, especially. America is leading the way in, in moral corruption. <laughs> you can say what you want to about some of these Middle Eastern countries, but they don't have all the problems that we do. Okay, you say, well, 
They don't let women do this or that and they'll chop your hand off if you steal something. These countries have a lot more order than America do. You got to think about what's the trade. I think everything that we do in America, we think that if another country don't follow that, it's something wrong with them. For instance, in this country, it's okay for people to eat chicken, beef, fish, whatever, right? In certain parts of Asia, people eat cats and dogs. And we frown on that. That's because that's not part of our culture. However, if we had been raised in America to eat cats and dogs for hundreds of years, it would not be a big thing to us. It would be something that's natural for us to do. Think about what I'm saying. So we got to get out of this notion that just because it's acceptable in America that it should be acceptable around the rest of the world. There's a difference between being proud of something on one hand and crassly flaunting it on the other. I guess the men who are overweight didn't get the memo for the photo op on this one. Maybe next time. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?